what's up guys welcome back to another vlog from this vlog uh, we are going to discuss about the way of mixing cement mixture with both sand and fine aggregates things that we are going to use are these if you are new to my channel my name is C and you guys are the C squad if you like uh, videos like this uh, then subscribe to my channel First of all, uh, we need to make a pile of sh washed sharp sand uh, without large particles and uh, then uh, we need to mix it uh, with fine aggregates. The ratio that we are going to use is uh, 1 is 2, 2 is to 4 or 1 is 2, 3 is to 4. After that, uh, you need to add a complete bag of normal Portland cement to this mixture. Uh, then you can start mixing the compounds using a hoe and a shovel. You need to mix it well. Uh, if the mix is not uh, evenly distributed, uh, the mortar wo won't have the right consistency. Guys, uh, as I mentioned in my in one of my previous vlogs, uh, these measurements uh, does not uh, need to be precise as a baking recipe. Uh, here, when mixing uh, large amounts, the amount of sand or fine aggregates usually given in shovels full, a bag of uh, cement, and uh, this amount may change uh, depends on how large the shovel scoops are. Normally you can use uh, 40 shovels of sand with uh, 20 shovels of fine aggregates or it is more convenient if you use uh, 40 shovels of uh, sand with uh, 30 shovels of fine aggregates. You need to uh, follow the techniques uh, you seeing in this video when mixing the compounds. Yeah. Then uh, form a crater with the hoe and uh, pour water into the crater. You need to use uh, right amount of water. A bag of cement uh, should be mixed with about uh, 3 gallons of clean water. But uh, amount of water depends on the work uh, you are doing and the surface uh, that you are going to apply the mixture. We need to use uh, clean water to uh, make this uh, mixture uh, if you need uh, you can create uh, two craters like this one at the middle and another one at the edge we need to add uh, more water relative to the amount of water that we are used in flow screed mixture the water will begin to sink and soak uh, through the mix. Then uh, with the shovel you need to pick the dry mix from the edges and throw it into the water in the center as you can see in this video. You need to continue the process until water is fully covered by 
the dry mix. You can add uh, more water when you are mixing. Mix thoroughly to distribute all the ingredients evenly. Always remember to follow the mixing method that you see in this video because uh, by mixing like this uh, you can get uh, accurate consistency. Always remember that the amount of water depends on the work you are doing and the place uh, we are, uh, you are going to apply the uh, mixer. This mixture that we are mixing here will be used as a wall, wall screed. So we need to add uh, more water than the uh, water amount of water that we used in the floor screed mixture. In future I will show you that uh, I will show you the way of uh, using this mixture practically at the construction site. This is the right consistency that you need uh, for a wall speed uh, mixture. Okay guys, have a nice day. I hope you all enjoy the video. Info about my uh, Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter accounts are down there in the description. Guys, uh, keep subscribing, uh, keep commenting and keep liking the videos. Uh, this is the final product uh, you get uh, after you complete the mixing. Uh, see you soon with another vlog. Peace.